The no. spirit molecule. Yeah, the spirit molecule. Yeah. I was on house arrest. That's when I figured, when I watched that shit on Netflix, yeah, I was like, I'm like, what is this pink thing that keeps warm going by the screen every time I say to me? Spirit molecule. Let me click this shit. Uh, oh, shit. Yo. You, you, hey, you heard about this DMT shit? I don't know. I can't get a kilo of it. I don't know. I don't know what they selling for the ounce. But this shit is like, nigga, I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what that shit did to me, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this your boy Gunplay. We finna get high on Montreality. Believe that. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. I just uh, manifestation and all that. I just did that. I play with it now. I play with it right now. If I said I want, I want me. If I say I want like whatever I want, it could be and I could be specific. I want. I need some, some whatever a, 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 a green pair of shoes with some maroon laces to go with an outfit. Somebody will call my phone maybe 10 minutes later, an hour later, and send me a picture of those same shoes and say, look, I got them for the low right now. They don't fit. The laws of attraction is everything. Like, you know, um, you attract everything that you bring into your life, whether you know it or not. You know, all the people, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, coming up, I wanted to, you know, now looking back, I, I wanted to always, you know, sell dope. And, and I always was around some dope selling ass niggas. And, Always had dope, and then I was like, all right, you know, I want to get into some rap shit. And then next thing you know, you know, I'm around some rap niggas and doing some heavy rap shit. Next thing you know, I'm in fucking Dublin, Ireland with Jay-Z and fucking Beyonce and backstage cooling, you know what I'm saying, on tour for 14 days. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, of course, with hard work and perseverance, you know, you know, we was able to, you know, accomplish that. But that's definitely a big law of attraction, especially if you're working at it day, day after day after day. It's bound to happen. The unit has no choice but to. That's the laws of the universe. Just like you, I throw this fucking shit up, it got to come down. So if I want it, it got to come here. It's the laws of the universe. The shit already automatically moves shit out the way just so it gives you a, a straight path. You see what I'm saying? And knowing this, what? This the sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? It took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out that I've been doing it the whole damn time. Amazing. You can't just sit there and be like, yeah, I want da 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 da. You have to be careful what you ask for, what you wish for, because you, what you get might not be what you need. It might be what you want, but ain't what you need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, shrooms, DMT. DMT is not a psychedelic. That's spiritual. That's some out of body shit. That's some out of body shit, man. Um, yeah, I love shrooms. That's actually really my favorite favorite. If if you used to, if I was to, if you used to leave me in a room full of weed or shrooms, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The damn shrooms, man. That's something I could live with for the rest of my life. For real, I love shrooms, man. It's just so dope. But then you can't really do nothing really like you have to just take a day out just for that. You cannot have nothing to do. And or drink on them shits, cause boy, you finna be woo woo. DMT I tried it once and I don't think I need to try it again. It was that intense. I went somewhere where I had no business being. <laughs> I'm like, nah, and then, and then a being touched me on my fucking kneecap. Motherfucking, like a, look like a, look like a, uh, behind the shaman. The shaman that, like, let me hit it and all that, he had a, it was like a, the men's bathroom sign. 
the men's bathroom sign figure. You know what I'm saying? But it was tall. But he was standing right behind where the shaman was, like right, literally right here. And I looked up at this shit. He was like, the shaman was like, you're good. He did like this and his smile went, Ear! and I looked up at his smile and then it was, then I seen the fucking, a men's bathroom sign motherfucker in a trench coat though. And the black trench coat had neon, neon outline and neon buttons on the outline and all that. And then that motherfucker did like this over his shoulder. He went over his shoulder and just like this with this, like, like this, like, like this mic, he came down and went boop. And touched me on my shit, did like that, and then that's when I went into the wormhole. Right, went into the wormhole, and then you know where you where you go is no is no is no time, so you don't you don't feel your heartbeat because your heart is on a rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Your heart on a rhythm, so you're not feeling your heartbeat. So you're like, oh shit. I'm looking at my partner's face, and he looked like it was like perfect straight, like, like you know, like lines and shit. I was just was like, what the fuck? And it was just cool as hell, man. And I, I you know what? I, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know if I try that shit again, bro. Cause that shit, I don't know. It's like I, I felt what I needed to feel. I seen what I seen. I went outside. I seen the plants all connected with each other and it just and I looked in the sky and I seen the, the, the wheel of life you know what I'm saying and I was just like god damn you know this shit here yeah. I mean it changed my life as far as like there's some things around you that you can't see it's a whole it makes you see the world that's here that we can't see put it that way all the energies and all that is actually there like <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's there like, yeah, it's real. I want to do an ayahuasca retreat, but I don't like throwing up, so I don't not finna be purging. That's the only reason why I didn't go. I think the universe is so exact, and I feel that we're beings from maybe a certain galaxy or something that gets a chance to come down to Earth plane and experience what love is and death and pain and feeling, right? And then when we leave here, we either graduate to another galaxy where there is eternal life and love and all that, but you have to be do good here. I think this is the testing grounds. You know what I'm saying? And then when you don't, when you, when you do, when you don't get it right, you come back. You know what I'm saying? And you keep coming back to the shithole, you know, of pain. And you have to make it what you have to make it. You have to make it heaven or earth. You know what I'm saying? You have to do that. And once you do that, you've done your job. You've blessed others, you know, and you, 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 you've drunk the finest of the wine, fucked the baddest of the bitches, and drove the, the fastest of the cars, and flew the, 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 the highest of the, the flyest of the jets, and wore the best of the best cologne and jewelry and clothes, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you didn't you lose integrity and you didn't, you know what I'm saying? I think then you go, you know? You might have to bend on whack the nigga or two on the way, you know what I'm saying? It just happens like that, but shit, who's to say? You know what I'm saying? What's good or bad? You know what I'm saying? Who's to say what's good or bad, man? It's a quick story, you know what I'm saying? What's good or bad? Fucking, fucking wise farmer fucking Horse fucking, the wise farmer's horse leaves out the fucking thing, right? The stable, man. The neighbors come by and they said, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Your fucking horse is out of there. Damn, man. How you, man, how you feel? He said, you don't know what weather, you know, who, who knows what's good or bad. Okay, boom. A couple weeks later, the horse comes back with 10 more horses. Here goes the fucking neighbors again. Oh, shit, you got fucking all these horses now. God damn, ain't that some shit, man? He said, well, you never know what's good or bad. A week later, the son jumps on one of the horses, riding the horse. Boom, falls off, breaks his leg. God damn, the neighbors come by. Hey, man, that's fucked up. Your son done broke his leg on them damn horse. Wise farmer says you don't know what's good or bad. So motherfucking week later, a month later, here goes the, uh, here goes the, 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 the king in that province sent the sent the uh, 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 a soldier over there to to uh, to uh, recruit soldiers for the war. 
in that province. So nigga was like, yeah, knocked on the door, boom, opened the door. He said, hey, man, we're going to war. We need your son. He said, well, he got a broken leg. You know what I'm saying? So the moral of the story is you never know what's good or bad. So on your way to success, you know what I'm saying? If you got to, you know what I'm saying, handle some business or if some people leave your life and they weren't meant to be or you never know what's good or bad. Who, You know what I'm saying? People that come in your life, people that enter life, you really brought them there. You know what I'm saying? But you just, again, you don't know what's good or bad for you. You might want that person there, but they don't need to be there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. You may not know me, but I'm a legend to my bedroom. Them never acted funny over money. I just represent, try and lead a trap. But I'm more active than I ever been. Loss after loss. Nigga feeling like I never win. Made the news using rifles, breaking Bible rules. We just some po poets, choppers like some biker crews. Learn how to cook from a custo. Not to cut it too much though. Find a spot, open shop, then I went for the gusto. Ain't no detours, just G4s now. Long paper, strong enough that we could beat laws down. My violent course of action course can leave your ass crossed out. Sleepers like the Reaper cousin. I keep one closed eye, two or three, four, fives, just for these cold times. Nigga, I don't know what I've been through just to speak those lines. Put a smile on my city face. Every acquitted case. Left a judge and a DA with a bit of taste. Money matters, nothing else. A lot of it and nothing less. Still praying for them true players on the false arrest. Been so close to death, I smell Smelt the last one on his breath. Pastor tried to baptize me, fucked around and got possessed. I put that on my chain and that little vein in my neck. Yeah, that list getting shorter, shorter, you might be next. Upgraded all my rollies with the bigger rocks. Bigger guns, yeah, I'm double backing, nigga, watch. Bing. That's what I needed, bro. No, that's what you get, that's what you gonna get. Mm-hmm. Fucking with me, you gonna get that real, you gonna get that uncut, that no fentanyl. All the time. Uh. No fin. The message to the youth is, my message to the youth is everybody gotta grow up sometime. And the earlier you do, the richer you become. And then watch everybody be a bum. <laughs> That's it. Do something. Do something, do something, do something that 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 they ain't pay you for a decade. <clears throat> Put in a decade's worth of your money, your time, your work, and then that if that don't work, then <clears throat> I might listen to your 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 plight of how why you depressed. Niggas in the hood too hungry to, to be depressed. Niggas hustling too hard to be depressed. Depression ain't in no hood. Where you heard What's wrong with what's wrong what's wrong with mom? Oh, she's depressed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's wrong what's hey what's wrong with uh Oh man, that nigga depressed, man. Huh? <laughs> you know that's not in the hood? Hey, this is your boy Gunplay Don Logan. No slogan. Shout out motherfucking Montreality, nigga. Montreal, Canada is going down in a major way. Y'all just passed y'all law. I had to fire one up one time for y'all. And you already know, man. Smoke one. And uh, stay out of motherfucking jail. And shake off the depression. Stop killing yourselves. Uh, 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 get off the flocker. Stop smoking flocker. Goddamn. Stop popping perks. You know, stop uh, snorting cocaine unless you're going to share it with me. <laughs> Montreality Show. Exercise that intuition. Go out on the wrist. Go out on the limb. It's not supposed to be easy here. It's not supposed to be easy here. How much, how fun would that be? You know what I'm saying? How, how, how much would you learn that way?